Kapera Patrick is openly homosexual and lives in Papua New Guinea, where gay sex is illegal. This place is called Hanuabada, or Big Village. It's a safe haven for him and others in the LGBT community, in a country where being gay can lead to brutal violence. Because choice for me start when I'm hard, when I play this like line, when I play by round, when I play round, when I'm more by looking, when I play by talk, backside, when I play, but okay, gay also some that time much like the same stone or knife, no surround me, when I play, the lap, when I lose the slap, when I come there, when I look at the slap, when I must be free, so then I stop there. There have been reports of rape and even murder for being gay in Papua New Guinea. Coming out can leave such a painful stigma that many are too ashamed to tell their families. We cannot change it. That's their personality, that's their life. Yeah. So we just um, came to accept um, who they are and uh, we lived with them and, you know, as brothers and sisters, daughters. Yeah. Parker Hu was once beaten up and burnt for his sexuality. He now advocates gay rights and wants the community to have access to better medical care when it comes to HIV AIDS <laughs> and sexually transmitted diseases. Um, we do not come out and you know, tell the doctors exactly how we practice our sexual behaviours and do not get treated or checked where we're supposed to be checked. So it's quite discriminating where um, it also caused most of our friends to go into hiding. Activists like Parker sense a gradual improvement in attitudes in Papua New Guinea. But add real change can only happen when gay sex is decriminalised. Meanwhile, places like this village provide some respite to those who need acceptance and a safe space.